For the sake of this claim, I'm going to be basing my example off an artificial habitat on Mars with modern or near modern technology, although most arguments in this video could hold true to just about any uninhabitable planet. To cut straight to the chase here, the reason I say artificial habitats are a terrible idea is because realistically they're unsurvivable, especially over the long term. By far the biggest factor here is radiation. A lot of artificial habitat concepts have the structure buried deep in regolith or surrounded by water in some form. This does in fact block a lot of the radiation coming from the sun, but there's also galactic cosmic rays which not even a lot of water will block. In fact, almost all means we would use to protect this base would actually make the problem worse as the radiation splits apart into smaller, even harder to block molecules. This isn't the only problem though. When leaving the base, astronauts would only be able to venture short distances due to the possibility of a solar particle event. If you were to be caught in one of these events, the high radiation dosage would lead you to throw up in your spacesuit, threatening your life support systems. Assuming you survived that and got back to the base, you would face a catastrophic depletion of cells such as neurotrophins and red blood cells. This would lead you to be tired, anemic, unable to fight infections, and throwing up, which could all very well lead to your death. Then there's also the needed life support systems. Power, airlocks, weather events, dangerously sharp dust, extreme temperatures, low gravity, the need for constant resupplies, and so much more, which would all need to be performed seamlessly because one failure or unpredicted event could endanger the lives of everybody at the base. I understand over half of this has already been done near seamlessly on the International Space Station, but the conditions on a planet like Mars are vastly different. For starters, it takes way longer to get to Mars and resupplies would be few and far between. To compare, the ISS gets resupplies every few months, but Mars on its own is 7 to 9 months away and is only at its closest every 2 years. So if something were to go wrong, the astronauts would pretty much be on their own. Now up there with the radiation problem is the human factors. Crew would have a noticeably shorter lifespan and be at high risk for cancer. Because they signed up for this mission, hopefully fully aware of these risks, we can brush away this moral dilemma but it's still something that's worth bringing up. Someone had also mentioned all the failed attempts to simulate an artificial habitat on our discord. I looked for the message and couldn't find it but thank you to whoever you were. We have simulated many different times how living in artificial habitats would affect humans and every time it's led to extreme stress, psychological strain, and interpersonal conflicts, while others have been cut short due to an inability to produce enough oxygen or a food shortage despite most being less than a year's in length. This all shouldn't come as a surprise. Imagine living constantly in a life or death situation, solving problems that were never predicted, living in a small quarters buried deep in the earth while being constantly reminded how alone and isolated you are from the rest of humanity. That seems pretty bad. This all brings us to the next problem. What value does this really bring? I could say with confidence no one would ever come and live in this habitat for a vacation or a permanent residence. It would solely be used for research purposes and possibly resource extraction, at least with the technology of the next 100 years or so. We already have rovers on Mars who are exploring and learning about the planet. Sending more advanced AI controlled robots would be much more cost effective than people and can likely do more because they can go further than 30 minutes from their home base. The last thing I want to touch on is the technological problems. Not as much for this claim, but more to stand as a groundwork for future ideas. A Griffin showed me a great video by Chris Gazat that highlights these problems, and in a nutshell, no pun intended, to deliver all this to the planet, to set it up, to find the water, to make energy, to send the resources to make the energy, to bury the base, to make the life support, to grow the food, to bring people there and back, to do all of this just so a dozen or so people can live on a different planet seems incredibly extra. So what's the alternative just not to go to space? Well that is actually a possibility and one I've began warming up to. I would never have considered it before but after talking to some people in the crowdsourced community I've been interested in this topic. I opened a thread on the discord so while it may never become a video I'd love to hear your opinion on this matter. I'll be reading every message so your voice will be heard. However I'm not here to crush the adventurous ambitious people's dreams because there is an alternative that I believe is even more cool than building an artificial habitat. We could instead terraform the entire planet to be a replica of Earth. This is what the next video will be on, so I'm not going to go into too many details now. If you dislike this idea, please put your opinion in the Discord thread, that's where your opinion is most considered. Who knows, maybe the next video will end up being why terraforming Mars is a really, really bad idea. But to just hear my quick pitch here, learning to terraform Mars would also lead to the fix to climate change. If we can make an unlivable habitat livable, we can make a livable one more livable. Make sense? Second, it would have value. Humanity is a species of free will. Having a second planet would vastly expand it by allowing our population to grow, 
people to set their sights to something bigger, new scientific discoveries to be made, abundant resources to be mined, and so much more. The exact way we'll do this and if it's truly possible we'll discuss in the discord and it'll be posted in the next video, but as of now it's seeming like a less terrible idea. As always I'll see you again in the next video and I hope you enjoyed.